Unlock for visitation. Please. They'll let you go. I'd rather die than repent. Can't you just pretend? Say I could, then what? Stop. A month, a year, stop a lifetime it. later? Stop it! Just. I don't believe stop it. in it! Just, just stop it! They're not human, Ezra. We had been told stories of what happened to our ancestors. No, we haven't. At least not the right stories. What are you talking about? If everything you knew about the world was false, would you want to know? I don't know, and I'm not going to watch. Guard! I'm ready. State your purpose. Y you don't already know? Due to a non-interference resolution, I am not allowed to read or write directly to your thoughts. I wish to exit. First, I am going to brief you on your exit choices and answer any preliminary questions. Remember, if you leave, coming back is not an option. I'm aware of that, and I want to join the Enviro. We are no longer Enviro, although like you, some Enviros still live in sanctioned communities. How is that possible? Long ago, your ancestors chose to remain solely human and were isolated. The world continued to evolve and technology advanced at exponential rates. We are no longer limited by biological processes. So we think, learn, grow and communicate millions of times faster than your brain is capable of. Why are we not informed of this? In your perception of time, we endure entire lifetimes in minutes. It became futile to update lower species. Why give us choices then? Although it was a very long time ago, we used to be human. Our society is based on logic and reason, which includes preserving lower life forms. We wish no harm to you or anyone else. Why didn't you force us to evolve with you? In this sector, we decided to let the children of the outsiders live and grow with their parents but provided support for those wishing to exit, evolve, and rejoin society. What are my exit choices? You will need to evolve into a new species. It is not possible to jump species instantly, so the process takes years for the first jump, months for the second, and then you will begin evolving day by day. What if I want to stop evolving? Although you can't go back, you can stop at any level. After you evolve into a Sissian, you may stay at that level until you die, if you wish. If you jump to an Enviro level or higher, your life will no longer be limited to any set time frame. Although it is possible to cause the end of your existence, there is no set biological death time 
and many in Baros are thousands of Earth years old. What's it like? With your education level, you should be familiar with the fishbowl analogy on the human perspective of light. Since humans evolved to live in a medium-sized physical realm, your entire view of reality is skewed through the limitations of that lens, like a fish looking out through its warped bowl. Okay, better question. What did other humans do after choosing to exit? About half of them stopped at the next level of evolution and lived out their lives. Of those that were left, they stopped at higher levels, and about 10% evolved into and are now members of our society. Although there are a few species behind the leaders in evolution, their lengthy delay makes it impossible for them to entirely catch up. Unfortunately, a very small percentage of those joining us completely lost their grasp on reality and had to be recycled. Okay, I'm ready. What do I have to do? Simply walk over the peak. Come with me! Please! Yanni is coming back for us. We'll all be lifted into heaven. You can't come with. I have to go. I have to know the truth about our world. There is no truth. Yanni is the truth. have to maintain our faith. He's coming back for us. All of us. Hello, little man. Hello, little man. He's back. You're not welcome here anymore. Why are you greeting me like this? Because you're one of them. I've come back for my sister. She's called me with her thoughts. I thought you couldn't come back. Jafar was able to get an exception to the non-interference agreement from the Third Species Council due to him having been a human such a short time ago. I'd like to take anyone willing with me. To where? An unnatural hell full of cyborgs, cold logic, and machines? To another life, one beyond faith and service. Based on what? Reason, progress, and the unrelenting curiosity in all intelligent beings. We won't let you take her. It's not up to you. I'm going to give you a gift. You can now hear each other's thoughts. Don't worry. It won't last forever. Ezra, are you ready? Scared. What did you do to them? Will they be okay? Of course. I just slowed time a bit. Slow time? That's incredible. Just wait. There's so much more to this world you haven't seen. I'll show you. Do you miss your old life? Honestly. Yes. It was a simpler life. 
But I wouldn't go back. In the same way I could ask. You miss being a child. Trust me. Hi, my name is Brian Bento, and if you spend more than five hours a day on the computer, you need to become a computer athlete. Imagine if you could spend six to seven days a week, 10 to 15 hours a day on the computer, and be happy, healthy, and pain-free. Yes, you can, by mastering five simple principles. I used to be in a lot of pain, and here's my story. While I was in school, I took a programming job because college was so expensive, and then I developed numb, cold fingers, I had trigger finger in my left index finger. I had back and elbow pain. I had difficulty sleeping because I was, my body felt weird. I was in so much pain. And then I sought medical attention, took some pills. Nothing worked. I thought I would be forced to change careers. I didn't know how I was, go was going to recover. And that's what started me on the path to becoming a computer athlete. By mastering five key areas, I was able to become happier, healthier, and recover without expensive medical care or pills. Computer athlete area number one, equipment and usage. You need the right equipment and you need to use it properly. Find the best keyboard for your body style, workload, and budget. Area number two, nutrition. Your body needs to be hydrated and well-nourished to repair itself from the repetitive stress of using a computer. Area number three, strength and conditioning. You need all of your body and muscles to be active and healthy. You need to work out your lower back and ab muscles so that you don't slouch. Four, self-awareness and self-care. Pay attention to your body. When you're feeling pain, that's your body telling you that there's a problem. Find the root cause of your problem. Don't just treat the symptoms and then eliminate those problems. Five, stress management. Realize that you change your work style under stress and make changes and take breaks, drink lots of water when you're under stress. If you're ready to become a computer athlete, you can either spend hundreds of hours doing research or you can buy the Computer Athlete's Handbook for $19.95 by going to www.moviepals.org forward slash CA and a portion of your purchase will go to supporting open source films. Let me leave you with a review from the blog howtocopewithpain.org. I hope this book reaches everyone who uses a computer. 
By reading it, you can avoid pain caused by your computer or work to eliminate pain if you already have it. This book particularly struck a nerve, ha, because my original injury when I developed the pain disorder was caused by poor arm posture and excessive use of my computer. I think the chapters on computer devices, keyboards, voice recognition, etc. could even be expanded to include more detail. This book is a vital call to action for all of us to use our computers more safely. Indeed, I think the book should be required reading for anyone using a keyboard and mouse. If Brian can get Microsoft and Dell to include this book with every computer sold, the world would be a much more comfortable place. Remember, you can get your copy of the Computer Athlete's Handbook at www.moviepals.org forward slash CA, and a portion of your purchase will go to support open source films. Badasswebsite.net, the best website you can get. You want a badasswebsite.net? Let me tell you why. You could have games, like find the contact page. Imagine. How many pop-ups can you close in 20 seconds? Pop-up, 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 pop-up. So let me give you an example of a badass website that we would build. So Joe, Joe the auto parts salesman. We want to talk about Joe. I'm Joe. I'm cool. I sell auto parts, $779,000. You'd still be wrong. And there's more. We've got toothpicks. I got toothpick. I got multiple toothpicks, OK? You can use them to pick your teeth while you wait for your website.net to load. But there's still more. Straws, you could bend them into shapes. But wait, there's more. You could stick the toothpicks through the straws. Used to poke Joe. Poke, I'm Joe, I have a badass one. Poke. Let's just take a look at a, whoa, what was that? Wrong tab. So. Kumar! Kumar! Come on, get it there. Badasswebsites.net. The best website, well, the website that you could get. Badasswebsite.net. The best website you can get. Hi, my name is Solomon Rothman. I'm the writer and director, and I also acted in Jathiah's Wager, the sci fi movie you just saw. But unlike traditional Hollywood movies, this entire film was created through a collaborative effort and what we call an open source movie. People from all around the world, many of which I had never met, came together to produce the film you just saw. We're creating new original movies, and you can find out more information, including the licensing, and how you can take that work, re envision it, and take it to the next level at moviepals.org. We also have a full social network there where you can upload videos, fill out a profile, connect with other movies movie lovers, and we hope you'll join us, and we hope you enjoyed the film. One of the best examples of collaboration is the audio team. It's actually based in the UK, and I'd never met them. They found us online. We're excited about the project, and they did a great job. That's Amber Audio, and we need more help from people just like you, everyone from movie critics to artists to creative people. We're making original movies, open source, regular source. We're connected and talking about films. Check out moviepals.org, and thank you for watching. Sheila! Tell me where you're going. Don't try and stop me, Jathiah. Tell me where you're going. You'll know when you're ready. Don't leave. Not like this. And go back there? It'll be okay, trust me. Crazy. Just like my father. So you're just gonna run away? I can't stay. Besides, I don't care. What about don't us? Don't you ever wonder what's out there? What about us? I don't know. 
If you leave, that's it. I can't stay. They'll kill me if I stay. No, there has to be another way. I'm sorry. I have to go. Michelle, wait! 